Hello everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video showcasing more of the Pico CTF 2022 Capture the Flag. In the last video we did some stuff with the rail fence cipher in the cryptography category, but now we're digging into some more fun stuff over in the forensics category, so let's dive in. Alrighty, I have Pico CTF 2022 opened up in my web browser here. I'm working inside of a Kali Linux virtual machine. And this challenge is called Redaction Gone Wrong in the forensics category for 100 points. So it says, now you don't see me. Mm. This report has some critical data in it, some of which has been redacted correctly, while some of it was not. Can you find an important key that was not redacted properly? Okay, so we have a download file here we could use. And uh, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to move over to, oh, did I never finish this? Uh, I guess I never did. My, my get flag script would work. Um, and we could actually redirect that to flag.txt. Sorry, just doing some last minute housekeeping uh, to clean up that rail fence cipher category. Let's move into forensics and let's make a directory for redaction gone wrong. Excellent. Hop in there and let's w get that file down. Okay. I now have a financial report for abclabs.pdf. Running the file command on that, it is in fact a PDF document, which is something you could actually open up if you're running Kali Linux um, with Evans uh, or not, <laughs> my bad. Uh, I'm gonna use the file manager Thunar to open that up. Um, and I, I don't quite know what they actually end up using to display this. What, What is the, I'm gonna use top to try and run some process. What's being ran here? Can I use like PS Tech Elf to show me, is it Atril? What is Atril? Oh, Atril is a document viewer. And I, I, sorry, I just saw that my face is probably in the way. Atril is what I saw being used to open something in a home directory. So I, just kind of a thought, maybe Atril is what they're ending up using. Atril would be ran on that PDF and that's how you open it up. A-okay. Sorry, <laughs> completely tangent here. Here's our financial report for ABC Labs. Something is, whoa, I, I just tried to highlight and that has been, did they just add like a black border or a black background on the text? Just painted over an MS Word. Oh, that I can't highlight over. That looks like it's maybe an image or something. Credit, debit, this is not the flag. Keep looking, expenses from the, Come on, come on. Just highlighting it. Sweet, cool. I guess that was fun. Did we learn anything with that one? We learned Atril. We learned the command to open a PDF in, in Kali Linux. We could, we could strings that. Again, it's gonna be present in the plain text of the file. Hey, let's use strings and grep tac OE for our classic Pico CTF flag format. Hmm, did I, is that not gonna be displayed? Oh, it's probably rendered in some strange way because PDFs build things in a wacky setup. Yeah, whatever. What you could do is you could actually use the PDF to text utility. Uh, and if you don't have that, it actually comes from the Poplar Utils um, package, sorry, repository to pull down. So if you wanted to use PDF to text, PDF to text will go ahead and convert this and you could actually carve out PDF images like that. You could do, whoa, like PDF to HTML shenanigans. Um, <laughs> okay, Callie, stop needing to restart services. Anyway, PDF to text is the command that you can run and that will take a portable document format, a PDF, and output it as text. Uh, it'll take the text file or like even the prefix of what you want to call this output um, as in the other argument, but you of course need to supply the PDF file as the argument that you want to run. So PDF to text on our financial report for ABC Labs, we can just call it text and then it will end up creating this text file here. I probably should have given that like a text dot text or <laughs> whatever. Uh, how about contents dot text? With that, we can then run that and we could grab out that flag super easy. So maybe that should be our part of our get flag script or our simple command here. Call that contents.txt and then go ahead and grep tech OE for Pico CTF with our curly brace flag format on the contents.txt file. Of course, color can equal none. So we get that displayed out nice and easy. And that was that challenge, everybody. 
cool. We got that flag. Now you can see me fully, or can you see me fully? And we can verify that is a script we can run and we can finish that challenge and call it done. That was a bummer. That was a lame -o. That was... Some of these, we, we've been in the beginner basics of Pico for a long time. We are what? Was this, is this 20 challenges in right now? And I don't know. We're, we're doing something different <laughs> to, to get the ball rolling here. Hey, I still hope folks are having fun, though. I hope you are learning new things if you haven't seen these techniques before. Um, it is still going to expose you to stuff that you might see in other Capture the Flag competitions or cybersecurity or anything like this. Um, gaining the new acquaintance and familiarity with different tools. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully there are lessons learned in that. So I hope you enjoy some of these videos and I hope you are still kicking around and watching some of them. Maybe this will turn into some neat, fun series for people in the future. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, YouTube algorithm stuff, like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Thanks everybody. I love you. Take care.